Hello everyone, um, this is <laughs> this is weird to be here, but simply you here we are back for a coming back video, which is why we have um, we have our boy here, um, John Wick is back as well, or he, I guess he was, yeah. So let me just let me go, let me come here. So we have a lot of things to talk about. Actually, not we we don't have a lot to talk about, but let's still talk about some stuff. So yeah, before we we go into the game, I'm gonna talk about stuff. So I wasn't really burnt out. I, uh, I had a desire to play, but I wanted to come back at a specific date because I had a lot of stuff to 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 do offline. Um, so I at the beginning of July I was sick for a while, and then I didn't come back. Then after that we got an issues. I had to move. Then computer. So to be fair, I had reasons offline to not come back but one thing that I can't really escape is the fact that I could have made an announcement or make a, make a video about it at any point but I didn't so this is my bad. I haven't posted on any of my YouTubes by the way so if you are coming from a different YouTube I have um, a couple of them and you know that I'm, I haven't posted anywhere so I've, I've just been offline but basically right. Alright so Let's go in-game. There you go. Alright, so... Let me just show you. So this is where we are currently. The new UI and stuff, but I'm not only really gonna discuss all the updates. Because I think Nether did a, like made a couple of videos about the, the updates and stuff. So this is the account. To be fair, the account hasn't changed since I left. Uh, July 7th, by the way, so it's been 4 months or close to. We still have the same thing. The funny thing is, I actually disabled the... Where is it? I think it's the candy upgrade. So if you if you check the candy upgrade, we <laughs> we do have a couple of them. Uh, you can sort by candy count. There you go. And you can see, <laughs> I uh, since there was some nerfs on cost reduction, uh, candy and stuff, I have so many candies on so many Pokemons. Like they are basically all jumping. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's the funny part. So I actually removed the the thing because I didn't want to do anything about it. So this is all the thing that we have. We when it comes to unlocks again, or actually we can remove this and uncut. We have all the Pokémons like before we left. And my goal or my current goal is just to farm all the shiny start starters. Uh, when we left, we had 73%. This is gonna be. All the not shiny that I have, or that I have, that I haven't, I guess. And um, we are gonna farm all of those. This is the this is the new goal. There you go. So this is the Discord. As you can see, we had some updates. This is the roadmap, or a dev blog about the roadmap. I'm assuming. So there was some stuff implemented. So this one is in the game, which is it's cool, I guess. Uh, we have this one here. So this is the puzzle encounters. This one is in the game, it's called Mystery Encounters, it is pretty nice. There is some uh, some events in Classic only, uh, by the way. There has been some biome changes, but no biome rework. And, uh, I mean, that's pretty... I guess they are working on this. This here, the finish move and ability implementations. So they are just doing, like, fixing the game, the, the moves and abilities. And they are doing balancing where they are, I guess, happy with it, right? Quote unquote. And then they're gonna work on like bigger stuff like re reworking uh, endless and classic. The user interface was changed, like you saw earlier. It's actually very nice right now. And we have two things, three things. So this one here. So the starter cost rebalance, some stuff happened, of course, but those. Those three over there are actually pretty big. Those two here. The skip egg hatching animation, so it is now in-game. It is insane. To be fair, if this wasn't in the game, I was not gonna come back. Um, <laughs> if I'm gonna be 100 with you, this is this is a big one. And we have this one, Hall of Fame and Run History. So this is good if you want to quickly show someone your team or if you want to see your past runs. This is actually pretty insane. I, I guess I could show you... Uh, maybe I'm gonna show you a screenshot on the screen or something. And um, so I guess this one is a big one, the finishing move. 
and ability implementations. This one is already here. To be fair, you can play offline just fine. Uh, not on the website, of course, but you can play offline uh, on your side. This is very easy to do. This one was in the game. So if we check all of those high priority here, this one, we have a couple of challenges. We have the start from scratch and the inverted one or whatever it's called. The finish move and ability implementations, it is still in the work. I think there is still some NNPs uh, in the game. And we have the mystery encounters. So I'm assuming now they're working on the biome rework and because there was this announcement here. So there was the... This is pretty big for candy farming, by the way. So if you want to farm them, just go ahead and do it. But this one is pretty big. So we are opening game design applications. Are you passionate about Pokero? No, 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 no. So they are expanding the, the design team to implement the biggest features. So it's going to be many about the future of Pokero, cool on quote, right? All the endless, all the classic and stuff like this. And so that's why I'm coming back. To be fair, I was going to come back on November 1st. Whatever happens, I was going to make a video. We have Mystery Encounter in Classic. So there is no rework at all. No Classic, no Endless rework, no Biome rework. There is nothing right now. We do have stuff that are changed in Classic and Endless. Small things left and right, right? You can just check the, um, check the updates. But basically, we have the Hall of Fame and Run History. That's nice. We have Skip Egg Hatch Animation and Egg Hatch Summary. We do not have the achievement shop, but they're working on this progression system. And uh, we have the we have new challenges. We have a lot more moves and abilities in the game now. And of course, there are some uh, some changes left and right. So item table and weight system rework. That's not done. But there you go. So we have starter cost adjustment, passive changes, egg moves. This one is pretty big. I don't know why it's not bolded. But Reviver Seed has been removed from trainers in item table. It's pretty big. <coughs> Eternatus has Flamethrower in, in Endless now, by the way. And all biomes are now set to full five waves. So this is actually pretty big. And uh, the this one is pretty big for farming uh, shinies as well and egg moves. This is the shiny rate that was moved from 1 in 32 to 1 in 12. So this one is 1 in 24. And down the line somewhere, it is moved to 1 in 12. I don't remember exactly where I saw it, but it was changed somewhere. There you go, it's here. So same species egg. Shiny rates have been changed from 1 in 4, 24 to 1 in 12. So this is pretty big for farming. And same here, base shiny rates, when you have no shiny charms, is from 1 in 2048 to 1 in 1024, which is pretty big. The lure changes is pretty big as well. You can only have one of them. And if you have all three of them, so you have the green one, the blue one, and the, the red one, those are going to be all that you need to get guaranteed double battles on all wild encounters. And they actually increase the duration as well. So it goes from 5 to 10, 10 to 15, and 25 to 30, which is actually pretty insane. I played um, uh, like an endless run yesterday. I played for uh, like two hours or something. And... I was farming candies on my guard of war like crazy. I got like, I think 30 candies or something. And I was perma under those lures. It is actually insane. There was some biome transition changes. So this is not the biome rework, just the transition between the different biomes. I guess you can just check the map for this. And uh, yeah, just some basic item changes. Nothing big, but definitely some pretty cool stuff left and right. And of course, on top of all of this, we have the rebalancing, which is a pretty big work as well. And we have the implementation on all the abilities and all the, the moves, which is pretty insane. And we have the mystery encounter uh, balancing as well. I'm not going to spoil any of those. Uh, you can check the wiki if you want to. Just for this, it's worth coming back. But with all the changes as well, it's actually pretty fun to play now. My goal was always to make those tier lists and those guides for you guys if you want to play Pokerog and if you want to have fun playing it as well. So since most people that have played with like Ace, uh, Zeta, those two are not playing the game too much. Uh, I mean, they are playing the game, but they are not uh, making content anymore, which is weird. Um, I guess they are going to come back at some point, but Nether is still playing as well. He's still making those videos, so go and check him out for sure. 
I'm just gonna go back into the game, make those videos, and yeah. Oh yeah, and by, by the way, uh, before we go, for the Discord, uh, I'm not really on Discord anymore. I mean, I was still on Discord right now, but I don't really have the account that comes, that was with the, um, the Discord account, the other one. Uh, I'm changing my all my accounts, all my passwords every couple of months, or every couple of weeks, actually. So I'm not really have the, the Discord anymore. Uh, that's the, the issue. But maybe in the future, I'm going to remake the Discord, but not for now. That's not the not in the works. So if you want to check me out, uh, you can just check on... Um, just go on the Pokerock Discord, look up Simply IU, and you should, you should find me. Right, so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.